Hey, what's up, YouTubers? It's me, Johnny, again. And if you want to check me out at my website, just go to johnnyfrom.com. Johnnyfrom.com. Anyways, uh, tonight I want to talk to you about uh, how to travel cheap in the developing world or how to live well in the third world or how to get by on almost nothing when you're traveling. Uh, this is for people who, want, who have to or would like to live on a budget when they're living in the developing world and just a few tips on how to, how to do that. Number one, first off, uh, travel light. In my opinion, you just want to have a carry-on bag, just one carry-on bag, and maybe a, a little small handbag to uh, carry a bottle of water in, and you know, uh, some uh, just medicines or whatever things you might need to get out of your uh, bag, real easy and conveniently, like a little, just a little teeny tiny bag. But mainly, you just want one carry-on bag. And my favorite bag is, of course, the Timbuktu. I keep flogging it, so I won't, I won't go into it anymore, but. You want a real small bag where you just have one or two changes of clothes. You want to be able to fit one or two changes of clothes. Your laptop, your tablet, your cell phone. Hopefully it's a dumb phone. You don't want to end up with troubles like Hillary Clinton's having. Anyhow, if you want to keep a low profile, use a dumb phone for your serious calls and you know when you got to manage your money and then use your smartphone when you're just sh shooting your mouth off on Facebook. Anyhow, that that the thing is if you travel lightly, if you just have uh, a small bag with a couple of changes of clothes, your uh, toiletry bag, and your electronics that you use to earn a living. Uh, that's good enough. And here's why I say that. All over the developing world, whether in Latin America or Southeast Asia, you uh, you can buy things really cheap. They have a lot of secondhand stores here. Uh, right now I'm in Chile, Guatemala. They have uh, pacas, that's what they call them. You can get used clothing to use shoes to uh, use uh, cutlery and, and things to kite out your kitchen with or, or your apartment or whatever. Um, it's not always as cheap as the States, but usually for two or three bucks you can get a couple, you can get a shirt or for five or six bucks you can get a pair of pants. Um, I recommend you, you travel with your favorite pants, at least for me that's Levi's, and then uh, just buy uh, some old t-shirts if, if you need them and when you need them, and they're only two or three bucks. The idea here is you don't want to bog yourself down with a lot of weight and stuff that you're never going to use when you travel when you can get a whole bunch of stuff for less than 20 bucks and then just store it away when you're done with it. So number one, travel light. Number two, uh, here's a kind of a controversial one, uh, eating out. Um, if you eat street food and if you like street food, oftentimes it's cheaper to eat street food than it is to uh, make your own food. And if, if you uh, like carbs and you like sugars and salt, then you'll probably like street food. Now, if you want to eat a little healthier, you're going to have to eat out at a nicer restaurant, which can cost you more money. So the tip here is uh, make your own food. Uh, either in your apartment, your, host, your, hot, your hotel, your hostel, or wherever you're going to stay. At least in Latin America and Southeast Asia, they give you places where you can cook your own food. And here's what I say about that. All over Southeast Asia and Latin America, you can buy these crock pots or slow cookers for uh, 12 bucks or under 20 bucks anyways, 20, 25 dollars, you can get the small ones for like, I think like 12 bucks. And then the small ones, they're just big enough so you can make your own meal and eat it all and then you don't have to store anything. That's what's kind of cool about that. And what's cool about it is you can make your favorite vegetables and stuff like that. And if you're uh, not a vegan, you can make your, you can roast your, your meats or whatever real slow. And, and down here you can get your patio chicken or your pollo patio. So you can get fresh foods and fresh vegetables and you can just throw them in a crock pot, which is only going to cost you 12 to 20 bucks. And then when you get home from your day job or whatever you do online or maybe you're teaching English job, you got some nice food ready to go and it's really cheap to cook that way. And with a crock pot, you can cook anything from like pasta to uh, uh, oatmeal to whatever you want. But um, if you like street food and you like a lot of carbs, then all over Latin America and Southeast Asia, you can eat okay, okay. I mean, personally, I prefer street food in Mexico as opposed to Guatemala, but everyone's different. Uh, another thing is um, to cut your costs on hotels. One thing what I do is uh, I don't really stay in youth hostels in the, too much anymore, but when you when I do, I stay in the the places, not in the bunk parts, which is really dirt cheap, but I stay in the uh, the room where you, know, you can just rent a room. And you can do that for well under $200 and not all, but most of Latin America, but especially in Guatemala, and Mexico, and, uh, and Thailand, and even the Philippines. Now you might have to hunt around more in some areas than others. Like in Thailand, you can go almost anywhere. 
and get yourself a cheap hotel for 120 to 160 bucks a month easy. Whereas in the Philippines, you're going to have to hunt around and you might have to be flexible and share a bathroom and things like that. You may not always get a refrigerator with your room, but in Thailand, uh, you can get all that. No, no shared bathrooms, refrigerator, and a nice little room where you can chill out for a month and do it as you want to do or, or whatever. And generally speaking, you can rent these places either by the week or by the month. So if you want to get your costs under 200 bucks and you want to just fly in somewhere and have automatic uh, internet wireless hookups, uh, check out youth hostels in these cheap hotels. You can find them just by walking around the town center or, or just use your guidebook to uh, get an idea where the cheap places are and then just walk around and check them out for yourself. Typically, if it's been featured in the Lonely Planet, then it ain't going to be as cheap as it used to be. But right next door to the hotel that's promoted in the Lonely Planet is the hotel that no one goes to, where you can get a room for five or ten bucks a night or two or three hundred. Well, under 200 in some cases, under three or 400 for the nicer and high-end places. Um, another thing is, if you really want to chat, uh, travel cheap, right now in Southeast Asia, there's a lot of low-end and budget airlines, and I won't go into it too much. They're pretty self-explanatory. and They're not hard to find. But in the last year or so, in uh, Central America and Latin, uh, South America, there's been one or two uh, budget airlines that come up where you can fly into uh, from Miami, you can fly to uh, uh, Central America really cheap, and then you can fly from Miami to South America really cheap. And I just noticed today there's another new budget airline where you can build a fly into uh, Peru, uh, Chicleo, if I remember right. And then the budget airline that you can use, that you can fly into uh, Colombia is, uh, you fly into, oh, I forget the, the name of it, but anyways, you can fly in there, and then you can take a, a short hop to uh uh, what's that town in Colombia? Um, it's in the mountains, I forget. It's in the Altiplano, but but it's just a short hop to get a jump if you want to go to Ecuador or Quito. So so you can you right now you can fly from Mexico City to uh, Colombia for uh, three hundred bucks, and for le less than a hundred dollars you can go from Colombia by bus. I'm saying you can go for less than hundred bucks by bus to uh, Quito. Uh, Ecuador and if you want to fly part of that journey it's 60, 70, 80 bucks and now with these new airlines I suspect there's going to be more connections where you can fly from Colombia into Peru and then to Ecuador which right now are some pretty popular destinations with uh, budget travelers so if you can keep your transportation costs down by taking the bus or if you can keep them down by taking these long plane rides on these budget carriers I know they kind of suck to be on them but it's only for like a day or less uh, if you can and, and if you can afford to uh, eat, or if you can afford to, or you can tolerate street food, that's another cheap tip. And then, if you can just buy things as you travel, like like a slow cooker, to cook your food and to get, eat more healthy, and then you can prepare it yourself and you know what you can eat. And all over Latin America, Southeast Asia, you can buy fresh fruits either already cut up or you can cut it up yourself. So, just bring your handyman tool with you. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, just want to say uh, the trick to traveling cheaply now is to travel real light and to buy what you need. And now with China producing, mass producing cheap low end uh, products, they're all over the world, but especially in Latin America and Asian countries. So you can buy what you need from clothes to uh, cooking equipment to electronics, really dirt cheap. So there's no need to car carry that big backpack that you see a lot of Europeans carrying for their gap year that looks like 50 or 60 kilos at least and then some of these bags are bigger than the travelers are just a really small carry-on bag or a small like Timbuktu spire bag will do it and just just keep the basics in it your clothes a couple changes of clothes and buy what you need on the road your electronics and so you can earn a living and communicate and do your banking and then whatever toiletries and you can just buy most of that stuff on the road anyway so I've seen people with just with plastic bag sometimes they don't even have a carry-on <laughs> anyways uh, tell me what you think and leave a comment how you get by cheap when you're traveling on the road and uh, like share subscribe uh, but basically tell me what you think of the video all right thanks